everyone. Hey, everyone. I am so excited for this run. Uh, this is Fresh Hops. This is a, a uh, Kaizo fan game made by Mori the Magpie, all about beer. So it's two of my favorite things, Kaizo <laughs> and beer. And I'm here with two of my favorite people. What's Hi. up, BD and Ako? Hi, I'm BD. I, I'm PR lead for SMW Central. I'm an admin for RHR. Uh, I've been doing Kaizo stuff for in about six years now, and I'm really excited to watch uh, Court crush this. And I'm Akko. I, I don't play Kaizo at all. <laughs> anyway, three, two, one, go! <laughs> all right. So every single level in this game is named after a different beer. So uh, you can look them up at home. I've had like some of the beers that are in, in this game, and they're really, really great. And uh, I do want to mention that we have the bid war open to decide which flavor of Gatorade that I get to drink at the end. Uh, and so I would really like Call to see... Call it a chaser. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. Chaser. exactly. Uh, I, I gotta have a drink after this. And so... Uh, personally, I am a Glacier Freeze fan, so I, I would really, really like to see uh, Blue win. So please get your donations in. And when you donate, tell me your favorite beer so then I can see if you have good taste. Or your favorite fa flavor of Gatorade if you're under 21. Ooh, that's, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've been talking and uh, Quartz just blown right through this first yes. level. Uh, this first level features these custom uh, piranha plants that spawn and eat. Uh, in this case, vines, but you can basically make them spawn or eat anything you want. Uh, and if you blinked, uh, it's over Woo! because, of course, that good. Uh, I, uh, it's, that level's a really nice introduction. It's a, this, this game has a pretty smooth difficulty curve. So if you've been playing Kaizo and are like, oh, I think I could maybe do this, the first level is a great indication of that. Um, and also you play as Toadette. We all love we Toadette. Love Toadette. We lo Let's go women. <laughs> Let's go women. Let's go fatales. Yeah, so uh, Belair Brown here. The concept of this one is the that you have a P-switch. When you grab the rope, it basically acts as a P-switch. Uh, for these blocks, which is really, really fun. But it doesn't activate the P-switch sound, which is so great. Thank you. We get to listen to the good music instead. <laughs> uh, and that's... The, oh. <gasps> I was too far. I was too far on the right there. Don't be hasty. Don't. That's true. That's a good point. Hey, Corey, I think you were supposed to be closer to the middle of that one. Oh! Okay, so that's right, the kind of again. insight you can only get if you that I can only play these before. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that was a good time for a donation. Absolutely. So we have $50 from Adora Bibble. That was an amazing Super Mario Brothers 3 run. Less than three. That was a really it nice was. run. Was I enjoyed really watching nice. that a lot. We were watching it from right here on this couch. Yeah. Wow. You can do another one. This level's chilling. We also have $100 from Anonymous. They say, let's get this bonus level and bonus game, which is a great reminder that when you are choosing that Fresh Hops 2 bonus level, that donation is also going towards getting our bonus game Pokemon Snap. It's a twofer. You can't lose. Yeah, absolutely. I want to talk a little bit about, like, Pokemon Snap is actually a really important game to the Frame Fatals community. It was our first ever game of the month, uh, a program that started in 2019 wow. and now has been going uh, for That's five years strong. That's a lot of months. So. Wow, this is so... I'm the, the event leader for Frame Fatals. <laughs> Hey, listen. So I gotta, I gotta shout out Miss uh, Miss Kenderia, who's gonna do a great job with Pokemon Snap. So please, every single time you donate to either uh, make me drink Gatorade uh, or the bonus level, you're also helping us get Pokemon Snap. Well, I'm going to. If you're gonna shout that out, I'm gonna mention that the bonus level that we're playing in Fresh Hops Two uh, is my favorite beer out of the ones that are here, and possibly one of my favorites that I've that I've ever had. It is a Wisconsin Belgian Red. Oh, it's um, so good. good. We. We went to me, me, Aqua, and May took a road trip to New Glarus on the way to uh, SGDQ, and uh, it was it was so good. But yeah, this level is also pretty chill. Basically, uh, the enemies are underwater, but we aren't, and uh, that's about it. So we can we can read another donation or two. You betcha. We have twenty five dollars from King B. They say thanks for the beer, Rex. I love Shiner and Kieran the most. Did I say that right? <laughs> yeah, you're good. Cool. Uh, we have another $25 from Ryan Rugger. They say GLGL GL runners. Good luck, good luck. Thank you. Yeah, get your donations in because uh, we don't have all the time in the world and court is a, in fact a gamer so yeah my uh this is this is this is kaizo so i always give myself like a little comfy estimate but uh my pb in this game is a 28 so uh we're at four <laughs> yeah. minutes on the timer we gotta we gotta get let's this go. rolling let's, let's, let's... wait have i already beaten like three levels yes, yes. Oh, you have my bad <laughs> We only like have $1,734 <laughs> remaining until we get that bonus level. Let's we go, can do chat. That. Come on. Do it. You Let's have go. like 
25 minutes because court's on PB pace right now. Come on, get those donations in. Yeah, usually my goal for the first round is less than 10 minutes, and we're going into the final level in less than five, so pretty good. Wow. We get to be, and we get to hang out some, with some friends. We do. Uh, this level is really fun, Diabolical. Diabolical is a strong ale, uh, and you have to be running away from these little chain chomps. The first one goes left to right, and then the next one goes top down. And there's definitely some parts in this that are pretty tight. Uh, this level got restructured a little bit, and I think it's really good. I, it's, it's, Mori's level design is just like really fantastic. If you haven't played this and you're a fan of Kaizo, I, I really recommend it. Um, but, uh, oh, that, okay. No, that, that was one, the old movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was really funny. Every, every game needs a 1.1. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So Mori put out a 1.1. I think when I was at SGDQ, <laughs> I was like, this isn't going to be a problem, right? And I'm like, oh, no, it's all, it, it's all oh. good. So what happened there, you might have noticed, uh, Court is trying to trigger these donuts before doing the jump because it is very minorly faster because oh, it man. skips uh, uh, waiting for it to fall. <laughs> but if you miss it, it is really hard to recover. It's really important to point out, by the way, this is Kaizo SMW, which means it is very hard if <laughs> if you're not familiar with the physics of SMW. And even if you are, these are some very tight jumps. These are some very deliberately placed obstacles and very specific things that Mori has built here asking players to do. Uh, figuring out how to do them is part of the fun yeah. of Kaizo. It's looking at something and being like, how do you, how do you play this? How do how would you ever learn to play this? But once you figure that out, then you get to actually play it. And both of those things combined are what make Kaizo such a really fun experience to play, skill level notwithstanding. Yeah, I agree. And this is the second Kaizo game that I've learned. Uh, the first one was Sayonara Mario World, which is my uh, favorite Kaizo mod of all time. Let's go lesbians. Shout outs. Yeah, let's go lesbians. Shout let's out to Margo. Um, Sayonara is a, a beautiful, wonderful experience. And so is this. And that's why I was like, I never really thought I was going to speed run a Kaizo game again. Um, but I just, I, I love this game so much. It is the best theme possible for me. Uh, <laughs> me and my husband actually brew beer at home. That's the only thing I use my chemistry degree for any day and, and nowadays. Let's go. <laughs> but yeah, um, again, you... I want to hear your favorite beers in the in the donations. So I do want to mention while we're uh, while we're coming up on this first boss. Um, I said that I don't really know anything about Kaizo, but that's not entirely true. I did help a little bit with court with yeah. routing this right here. Both bosses, uh, both bosses, Aqua helped me with. So, oh, hey, you went the wrong who, way. Oh. We're back. Look who's back. I know, right? It's a reference. No, stop it. <laughs> you have to go to the right. Okay, there thank you. Go. And you'll see why. You'll see why. There used that to be a much good. more convoluted strat here. Boop. Boop. Toadette wins by doing basically nothing. The Yay! Goal. The dream. Honestly, honestly, the dream. Oh, that was really good timing. that's the first timing. round. There you go. First round, done. <laughs> Yay. All right, Rara, give us something. Yeah. Yeah, we got $25 from Uni. Let's go. Hi, Uni. Hey, Uni. Love you, Cortigenism me. You're the best. Happy FF Friday and good luck beer game. <laughs> happy, go. happy, happy FF flat Friday friend Friday. Friday. <laughs> so true. It is flat friend Friday. It is. <laughs> well, you didn't flatten it. Here you go. Have fun. Right. <laughs> you can read another one. We also have $10 from Handstands. Friday evening, Kaizo on Frame Fatales. Time to crack open a cold one with the gals and enjoy some fresh hops. Let's go. Let's go, Flygon. Yes. Thanks, Handstands. Let's go, Flygon. A quick update. We are sitting at 2,600 out of that 4,000 that we need for that bonus right. level. Only 1,395 to go. We got this. Go. Let's go. Let's Come keep on. it rolling. It. Exclamation point, donate. Absolutely. Do it for Toadette and for beer. <laughs> yes, and for beer. Exactly. Y'all got to keep this up if we want to ah. get that in time. So this is a this is a what kind of gets referred to as a one by one level. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll notice this is just one screen. Um, this this kind of level in a Kaizo game is just basically a series of one screen mini puzzles over and over again. Uh, yeah. It's really shout out to Invictus, which was one of the yeah. first to uh, one of the first sort of. I, if you want to call any of these mainstream. Uh, but uh, Invictus had a level called One by One, one which is really famous. Uh, yep. Other uh, earlier games have done this exact same thing, but this is sort of a staple of the genre, if you want to be pretentious about it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the nice thing about this compared to One by One, though, is that One by One, 
uh, did not have any checkpoints. No, so you this were one does. this one thankfully does. Uh, I did forget to mention whenever we get a checkpoint, I need everyone to type H in the H. chat. I hope people have already been doing that, but just in case, uh, you, you got to make sure you're doing that. And I will be very happy. And if you weren't paying attention during SGDQ, the reason we call them H's is because they look like H's. Oh. <laughs> Well, so you won't see the H's here, but if you look at any time where it gets a, a midway, is that what they're called? They're called midways, midways yes. yeah. yeah. Basically, <laughs> good li job. Listen for the whistle. When you hear the whistle, that means yeah. uh, your progress has been saved. Yeah. But uh, this, is a, this is a good time for donations. as we uh, finish this one out. Absolutely. You're getting so much love right now. I'm going to have to speed run some of these. Let's we go. got $50 from Cheesy Pie. They say, you're telling me a fresh hop this Kaizo? Let's go! You're telling me I'm fresh off the <laughs> We also have $5 from Geneticist. Hi, Court. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi, BD. <laughs> Loving the Games Committee representation on screen right now. Favorite beer is anything not oh. an IPA. Oh. True. Wait you're, for you're, it. Wait for it. You're there. correct for that one. <laughs> Putting this towards orange Gatorade just to spice things up. What? Oh. You know, Wait. that might not be a bad thing. They're tied right now. They are Ooh. tied right now. Gonna, what happens if we tie? I mean, I real I still really want blue, but uh, if we tie, I will be revealing the secret of. Uh, we this need is a secret third. Thing. To, yeah. yeah, don't there's worry a, about it. There's a secret. There's a secret have to, we have to get thing. there, and you have to help us get there, everybody. Yeah, we're we're not gonna see it until we. Uh, I'm not gonna mention what it is until we get the bonus level met. Uh, so do that first, and then maybe I'll reveal more. Right now, it is tied at five dollars each. Beautiful. Here's my, here's my question. Are you on court side? Are you are you with court, against court, or the secret third thing? Or the secret third thing. <laughs> or both. So this this uh, this level features our friends the piranha plants that we kind of saw in the first level. Yeah. Except now they're doing now they're eating clouds. Uh, and I I personally love this level because this, this level. level is a shout out to what I consider to be my favorite SMW fan game of all time. Stick mice in my head and then beat my head in with a hammer and let them back out. <laughs> it is so good. It is so good. Mice and mice two are both incredible. <laughs> Do people uh, like abbreviate that to the initials? They can. People generally call it mice. <laughs> it's just mice. Yeah. I have played mice. It's great. I'm, I'm trying to go through the letters. Shout out to Idol, many. by the way. Yes, shout out Let's to Idol. Let's go lesbians. Let's go lesbians. I, I, oh no. No, that's, that was winnable. <laughs> no. <laughs> this, this, this goes at the end. So, uh, anytime you hear Yoshi's Island music in a level, you know it's going to be cursed. And the cursed part of this level is that disco shell. So basically what's happening is I have to, like, do the disco shell part, but stall long enough that the clouds are there for a long enough time, but not too long that the clouds go away. Uh, while also bouncing on the disco shell the entire time. And it if you, is rough. If you don't know uh, SMW, you don't... If you're only familiar with the base game, you're probably not used to seeing these shells <gasps> in this... Oh, oh nice. let's go! I hated that so much! You're never in doubt. Uh, <laughs> bouncing on disco shells is a is something yeah. that you learn and you hate for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure you ever really stop hating. No, because they, they, <laughs> creators come up with more spicy and exciting ways to make you hate disco shells. Well, let me, I should just like... There we go. <laughs> you put them right in front of you? <laughs> yeah, why not? I think it's perfect. Right, go ahead and give us a couple donations. Absolutely, we got $100 from Lurker Spine. I have watched Court practice this run for a while now, and I'm optimistic <laughs> they'll have a Stella run. Ooh. Oh. Cheers to Flygon, you got this. Thank you, Lurker, Cheers. really appreciate it. We got another $100 from Blitz. They say, love watching Kaizo Mario Chaos. Thank you so, so much, y'all. Thanks, y'all. Oh, so, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, this is a reference to uh, a different SN SNES series. Um, yeah, we've got Donkey Kong Country 2 music. It's <laughs> so good. I love the Chucks being reskinned as DK here. Wait, what? This is like such... Wait, what? hold on. We had... We had Boom Boom Must Be 3, and we have DK from the DK Randomizer. It's this all is, the friends it's from all today. Planned. Oh, yeah. it's brilliant. That's so neat. Good job, Games Committee. <laughs> <laughs> we have ah. Pat... <laughs> We passed three thousand dollars for go. that come bonus on. level. Yes. Come on, come on, come on! You want it. to see the third option? Yeah. You want to see the third option? <laughs> Trust me. So the thing is, this level has been decently reworked because it was by far the the hardest level of the game. Uh, I really appreciate Mori doing a lot, a lot of reworks. That rework there, um, you if you missed the vine, you used to, you could sometimes just get stuck on the disco shell forever. Uh, now you can't do that, which is nice. Very very cool quality of that. life option. And then uh, the ending of this has been nerfed pretty significantly. There used to be a really scary boo ring that I had the messed up visual cue for and I think more was like uh look, we could just we could just make this a little simpler <laughs> I mean I'm, I'm okay with the ring of ghosts being scary personally I think it's that looks correct. scary I don't need to be scared again I, I'm scared. good DK <laughs> nice 
Oh, uh, so that cycle is the same on entry, but if you die, it's different. Um, and so you just kind of oh, no. gotta wait there. I hate it. Oh no! Big jump. Death cycles. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Wait for it. <laughs> no, we're fine. Nice. Oh my god, so, that was horrible. <laughs> those jumps <laughs> might so have scary. looked like the most like original part, like the least like effective. By the way, shout out to the Ikikis, Ikikis here. They're they're cute. Yeah. They're cute. Um, those jumps at the end of that first half were probably the hardest part. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Even though they're more like vanilla platforming. Right? The thing about Kaizo that is incredibly hard to like communicate if you're not playing it is the parts that look the easiest are actually the hardest. <laughs> and then there's a disco shell. You know that one's oh, the yeah. Like we terrible. said earlier, <laughs> now we're surfing a disco shell. Yes, and this disco shell is made more difficult by the fact that there's the wall there. Um, the first disco shell in the first half is is pretty easy to set up. This one is, is quite particular. and that, Again, that's what makes this level the hardest. There's parts of both halves of it that are, are, are pretty difficult. So as it gets to the end, uh, it's a good time for a donation. Yep, we got $25 from Bean Jammin. Hi, Bean. I know them. Bean mentioned. Uh, enjoying this run with my Super Mars and Bros beer. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. We got another, uh, we got $50 from Corvame. They say, Whoa. Fort Crozen Crygon. <laughs> what? Fort Crozen Crygon. Is that the entire text? Yes. Awesome. I, thank no, you, May. We, we roll. Thanks, thank May. you, May. <laughs> Another fifty dollars from Char Bunny. They say lesson three, and then their little sea smiley face that I love so see much. Sea Let's get that bonus level. Let's go. Yay. Thank We're you, Char. Close, aren't we, Ray? Only nine hundred and forty dollars oh to go guys. for that bonus level. On top of that, we are ninety percent of the way to our milestone Let's to get Pokemon go. Let's go. Now. Let's go. We can do it. Pokemon. Oh. Do it for Toadette. I hosted Pokemon Snap for Frost Fatales 2020, I think. Um, and I, I love that run. I think it's very, very fun, all the things that you do to optimize it. And Miss Kendry is like, her energy is just incredible. You you absolutely want to see it. Has we, any, go sorry. ahead. Has anyone donated to the to the bed war by any chance? Yes, blue Gatorade is currently in the lead at twenty dollars. Let's go! Oh. Orange Gatorade is at five dollars. I want to see another fifteen go towards Orange Gatorade so we can get the secret third thing. Yes. Come on, Orange. Um, Again. Oh, I, I couldn't think of. No, it. I didn't oh, spin. Oh, no, oh, um, I forgot. supporters. <laughs> so we've done a lot in the Kaizo community to make things visually easier to read. Yeah. Uh, and one of the things that we've done, uh, and I would like to think RHR has had a, a part in this, good or bad, uh, is the deliberate use of coins in a specific way. So you'll see all these coins, and these coins usually serve as just some sort of visual indicator to the player to do something. Either jump somewhere or watch out for something in a watch specific out. area. Yeah, watch out! <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm just going to go over here. All <laughs> right, we're just going to... No, sometimes you just have to let the disco shell nice. do what it wants. Uh, so, like, when you see coins here, coins are always placed in a Kaizo level very specifically. Oh my gosh. By the way, shout out oh, to this guy. Oh, this no, guy no, no, here. no, 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 I don't like this. Let's go. Come on. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, the first time I cleared this level, I did actually take the time to dodge them, so I didn't know it was fake for it's a okay. really long time. It's okay. Ukiki isn't real. Ukiki can't hurt you. True. <laughs> very, very true. Is that true? I don't I know. Mean, Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too hearted. So this level is uh, directly uh, inspired by Celeste. Let's we go. have a little battle and chaser here. That Bad is Mario. Yo. Yeah, Bad Badio. Ba um, Badette. <laughs> no, that's, that's very clearly Mario. <laughs> yeah, and unless, is, unless you're saying that the bad version of Toadette is Mario. <laughs> I, I am saying that, I am actually. Saying, oh, I am saying that. There's, I some, there's some layers to that that I don't necessarily want to get into right now. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, funny enough, like I I got into speedrunning from Celeste, and now I'm here speedrunning a uh, Kaiser game. Uh, and I made a Celeste mod that is based on the Quickie World series so called Quickie Mountain and Quickie Mountain 2. So talking about, like, BD was talking about the indication, uh, me and Bean, who made Quickie Mountain, also, like, used coins in that. And after that, people, like, started using, like, lanterns and stuff as indication. And I'm just like, this is this is cool. We You're want, a we're, culture maker. Yeah, we are evolving the state of game modding in a way by, because it's like you want the player to succeed. Blind jumps aren't necessarily fun. And so there are ways that the SMW community that's been around, you know, 20 plus, is it 30 years now? Let's not talk about okay. that. Okay. Um, we can learn from them and, and do that. So, and also just, you know, shout outs to all of the uh, Kaizo and Celeste modders out there. Y'all are truly, awesome. We have a community of people that is so collaborative. Yeah. Everything you see in this, in this game 
was built very likely by someone else. Uh, and those people have made those resources free and open to any maker yeah. that wants to use them on SMW Central. It really is a matter of the community building on itself, iterating on itself, and coming up with new, interesting, creative ideas. You know, forget SMW being as old as it is. Kaizo as like a big thing hasn't really has only been around for a, a decade. Only probably, a decade. Only I a mean. decade. <laughs> probably, I mean, probably, what? honestly, probably longer. Lunar Magic came out in two thousand. Wow. So yeah, it's pretty amazing. And we're right. still seeing so much new stuff. We're still yeah. seeing so much, and we're still seeing court just crush this. Ooh, good. Crush. I'm not gonna lie. For that entire level, I was distracted from y'all, what y'all were saying because I was trying to think of an O word that means like a supporter <laughs> or like. It's someone who likes something. <laughs> so if someone could could like it's the, figure it's that it's out, it's the oranges, could, yeah, oh. like donate. like Syracuse. That's their mascot. Is the oranges? Well, no, I'm saying it's like just if, you're giant, supporter, if you're a supporter, it's just a giant supporter orange. of orange Gatorade. What what do I call you? Like if it's blue. I could call you like the blue battalion, right? Wait, what is did I just mi- did I knock at the mushroom? You didn't no. get the mushroom. Okay. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> what? By the way, y'all, did I jump uh, over the mushroom? Like I'm so confused. <laughs> we. Y'all better start. Last call is coming very soon on yes. this incentive. Oh, that's true. I was just about to mention that we may be less than a thousand dollars towards that incentive, or less than a thousand dollars to get it. But uh, Court is a god tier gamer and is flying through this game. Like, it's true. Yeah, this is the last level of the second part. Uh, there's only three parts of the game, yeah, uh, so three rounds. Very, very so please get Jeez, your you, donations you, in. You want to? Oh, do we? Have, that's a tied bid war. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. back to even. Okay, okay. We'll worry about worry about that when we get there. We still have a we still want to meet this, and we still have to fight this boost. All right, <laughs> this boost. Yeah, oh, I'll call you. is that what big, people say? It's a big, yes, say people that. say that. <laughs> it's a big boost, boss. So it's, it's a boost. boost. Oh, it's a boost. Okay. Uh, so this is another thing I helped Court with. Um, this boot is basically a cycle, right? And you're trying to beat the cycle. Simple, right? Oh. So we just want to hit him as early as possible so that we don't have to. There's like a whole thing where you have to jump all the way to the top if he goes in the wall here. But if you hit him fast enough on the earlier ones, he doesn't yeah, make it all the way. Let's go. Go. And you get a really early kill. Woo. You can that see that a, platform at the very that top. That is a quick is kill. Yeah. That is a quick kill. Also, going up there is terrible. Like half the time you throw the block up and there's a frame rule because SMW is a really great, brilliant game that doesn't mess with you ever. Zero. And no. so that quick kill is so much fun. Really glad that went well. So that's the end of round two. So Rara, please, you, you can roll with like three donations. Yep, I got $10 from Carrarium. Hey! Hi, okay. Court. Hi, Akko. Hi, BD. You're all cool and neat and good and nice and inspirational. What a <laughs> rude thing to say. <laughs> and I hope you all enjoy some nice fresh hops after this because you all deserve great things. <laughs> I love you all dearly. See you all in January for SGDQ? <laughs> Sure. Yeah, we'll roll with it. Yep. Go Gators! Also, Cheers has to be blue. Everyone knows that. Go Gators! Go Gators. Not subtle at all about it, by the way. <laughs> no. Blue and orange. We are also getting some donations with people mentioning their favorite beers. Please. Uh, we got $25 from Library Nerd. Uh, Probably Quilter's uh-huh. Irish Death, but ask me again tomorrow. Uh, We're just going to reload the game real quick. Uh-oh. These- I, I will keep going. We got $25 from Soul Mass 218 Hey, Court, you're rocking this run. My favorite beer is St. Bernardus ABT 12. Is it ABT? Ooh, okay. Uh, Belgian it. quads yeah. are the best. Uh, we also had $25 from Yuko Po. What's Mario's favorite type of beer? That's a good question. An IPA because he's a fan of hops. Oh. I can see that. All right, so my game like apparently did not want us to have more after round two. I'm just gonna I pull I pulled up the first save in case there was anything silly with that save. But we'll do, we're gonna we're gonna keep it rolling. Rebeus Rebeus is next. This is a this is a raspberry flavored beer, so we've got like the pink going on here as the theme. I really like so when I was learning this uh, speed run and I submitted it to a few different events, I had a lot of fun like going through and trying to relate the name of the level to the like how Mori made these. And of course, you have the correlation of like the flavor and the colors here with the raspberry, but also just like 
what are the what are the vibes of the beer telling me? And like diabolical, like I said, was like a strong ale, and that was a, a level with a boss in it and a little bit more intense. So it's a, this this game is just really well crafted and themed. I love it so much. And I want to take a moment. We were talking about this on the on the couch before we got started. It's a it's so nice to be able to listen to this music with really nice headphones because yes. <laughs> this music yes. is so good, everybody. The SNES sound chip, don't miss. Mm-hmm. And if you get a chance to listen to like some real good SNES SPC 700 music through some really nice headphones, Oops. this this music is really amazing, and the people that make it are incredibly talented. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. I I what I my favorite thing to do is to go on SMW Central and search Pokemon Mystery Dungeon music. There's literally a radio. They're so good. It's a ra- there's a radio. So if you go to SMW Central, which you should, uh, there's a radio button. You can yes. literally just click the radio button, and it'll just loop for you. I love it. It's so great. So when you say radio button, you don't mean like the no, the it's circular. A, it's it's a, it's a radio. <laughs> oh, it's not like a, it's not like. <laughs> Sorry, that was an awful joke. What percentage Rara. of people are going to hear radio button and think of that? Rara, like Rara, please get me out of here. Get me, save her. Save well, we her. did get two hundred dollars from Vakayom. You mean we can have more Kaizo? Oh, yeah. yes, please. As Thank long you. as I'm not the one who has to do them. <laughs> I got oh, you. I got fun. you. I got they're you. Chat only eight hundred and seventy-five dollars left until we get that bonus level. And going off of my notes, we only have like four levels. Left. Yes. Going yes, to to, let's go. We, we got to keep is, this rolling. So keep getting those in. Uh, $5 donation train. Keep telling me your favorite types of beer. I want to know no. uh, because I want to maybe get a little bit more knowledge about this because I don't know beers very much. Yeah, if you don't have a favorite specific beer, I would love to know like types or characteristics you like because like me personally, mm-hmm. I'm kind of a... I'm kind of fruity. I knew you were going to say that. I'm kind of fruity and kind of sweet with Mm. it, you know? Mm. So those are the kinds of drinks I like to have. Uh, My favorite beer of all time is called A Wild Night um, from Swamphead Brewery. If you couldn't tell by the obnoxiousness of the Go Gators thing, I went to the University of Florida um, (laughs) and I uh, got... Uh, my wedding reception was at Swamphead. Uh, I love it so much. I, I miss it every day. I'm also wearing my Sierra Nevada shirt. Um, one of my favorite places to go and visit. This isn't a bit. She really, really likes beer. This I really, much. really like beer. <laughs> like, I love going out to breweries and getting flights and talk to, like talk to my friends about so beer. So made the perfect hack. Exactly. But yeah, good with uh, another donation. We got $10 from Captain Auk. Favorite beer? Left hand milk stout yes. nitro. That's a good choice. Bean is gonna be so happy. I've, right? had, I've had it poured straight from the source at Left Hand Brewing in Longmont, source? Colorado. In Best- Colorado. Best trip ever. That's awesome. That, that, is, that is my favorite thing to do when I go visit new cities is just go and, and just check out find places. The beer, find the brewery and taste. We're go- the the stu- studio crew and I have, have some plans to go to a local place yeah. after this. I'm really yeah, excited. You, do. you really do. <laughs> I get to get out of the studio and hang yeah. out. Night yeah. shift really appreciates that, Court. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen. It's all good. <laughs> we got a bonus game to watch tonight. I Brilliant. know. Yeah, how are we doing on that, by the way? What's our what's our donation total at? Uh, our total is at $74,196. We are less than 8000 until we meet that bonus game for Pokemon Snap. We also only need $745 for the Fresh Hops 2 bonus Ooh, level. Remember, let's go. Come on. when you donate towards that incentive, it is also going towards the bonus Pokemon Snap game. I didn't spin. How often do you get a two-for-one deal at an event like this? Good point. That's, Good that's point. true. How often do you get a two for one where one of the two is a beer? <laughs> and the other is a Pokemon. <laughs> uh, uh, yep. Okay. Uh, now I want, so every time me and my husband make make a beer, we name it after video game stuff. So I have like, there's like Twilight Town Red. There's a Chocola Cola Brown. Any, if there's any Superstar Saga fans in the chat, I would love to hear if people have punny Pokemon names Ooh. to name beer after that we can, you know, our, our next batch, we can name it after something. Whatever, whatever you all come up with, the best one will do. So let me know. For a big enough donation, Court and Bean will name a beer. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. I and think. a good enough name. Yes, well, yeah, okay. It's yeah. both. It's both. This is, well, it's I think that depends challenge. on the size of the donation. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that we're we're so close to seventy five thousand dollars total. Yeah. Like we can absolutely make that too. So let's get the bonus level. Let's get to seventy five k. You want the third you option? Do it. I do want the third. You option. want the third option? The third option's my favorite. That's what I want to actually drink. The third option is a UF special, I believe. That's correct. Good for another donation. Yeah, we got five dollars from Casasor, an SMW game about beer. 
All that's missing is a bow, a strawberry, and a Florida Gators reference. And it would be the perfect game for Frozen Flygon. Strawberries around. So, oh, shout out to the Shout out to Slothcore. The next game I might learn is called uh, Cute Kaizo World. Cute Kaizo World, yes. And all of the enemies have bows on them. It's the best. Oh, my God. <laughs> So, Cassasaur's he- donation did finish. Was so proud of Ooh. you, friend, Bergie. Bergie, <laughs> Bergie thank you so much. Bergie. Do it for Bergie. Oh, Bergie. Uh, we also ahead. have five dollars from Amelia Real. Don't know if it counts, but I love me a good elderberry mead. Yes, it's a nice Ooh. bittersweet yes. berry flavor that thankfully doesn't lean too hard on the bitter. Poured me a good glass with some ice for the run, and it's perfect. Wow. Cheers to a good run and a good glass for all. Thank you so much. I am on team mead. Mead is good. That's, I mean, I don't, I don't have it very often, but when I have, it's, it's really cool. It's very different. Um, I, yeah, I love everyone having their drink while they watch the run. That is like, I wish I could be too, you know, like that, that sounds good. <laughs> All right. $705 for that bonus. Let's level. go. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We can do this. Well, you got to jump though. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this, the beginning of this level always gets me. So you have the retry prompt. You get to choose when to retry, but I'm, I'm just mashing. And then I'm like, oh, right. I need to not die immediately. <laughs> it's so easy to do. Shout um, but, out to Kaizo people that don't know that the retry prompt isn't there automatically. Mm, true. What but, do you mean it's not there automatically? You have to put that in there. Oh, like, <laughs> oh, I see. That's not part of the original game. That's something the fan games added. Yep. I see. Uh, so yeah, this level has the little poison mushrooms and cycles is is kind of what we're going for here. You got to be sure to dodge the mushrooms at the right time, grab all our blocks and stuff. It's a, it's a really fun level. Uh, cool. The second half of this actually got changed, but uh, it was really cool. Mori was in my chat being like, hey, by the way, you can totally just skip this part. And I was like, <laughs> I love when game creators are like, Hey, I screwed up. Here's a faster way to do this. So instead, uh, when 1.1 came out, Mori redid this section, and it's still just as fast, and it's uh, really cool. So, big ups. It's kind of hard to tell, but the, the gimmick of this section is that those pink poison mushrooms actually jump when Toadette jumps. So you're controlling those, which means which you, have to slow? Some, okay. you have to do some juggling, and you have to kind of time yourself around and make sure that you're you're jumping at a time where you can make it wherever the pink yeah, mushroom yeah. is not. Yep. Uh, oh, that's a big jump. Yeah, only 130 to go for that bonus Let's level. Go. Shout Let's out go. to I, a $500 donation from Anonymous with no comment. Thank, wow. thank, thank you. you so much. It's so generous. Did I tell you that if the, if you hit the third option, there's some prop comedy involved? <laughs> oh. There is prop, there's prop comedy involved. <laughs> so blue Gatorade is currently in the lead with 45, with orange Gatorade close behind at 40. Oh, oh my cool. gosh, that's we, so close. Like this. You're going to want this, y'all. Come on, we're so close. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. All right. Nice. There this, is a hidden one of four, one, one of one zero, zero there, and yeah. uh, it saves my life. Thank you. <laughs> one of, shout out to one of zero, the most <laughs> overused and underused uh, part of map, map 16. Yes. By the way, we haven't mentioned this yet. We've talked a lot about the third option. This bonus level has something that I have never seen before, before I saw Court practicing this level. I had never seen the thing that is in this bonus level before in all my time in Kaizo. Yeah. So you are going to want to see it because it's it's really a first time thing that I've ever seen. It's really cool. Uh, it's a significant step up in difficulty as well. It features uh, a mechanic that I think is super cool, super flashy. So please, I, I would love to get to show that off. We're so close, everybody. Come on, we can do this. $105 to go. Easy. Woo! Let's go. Come on. Before this level ends. Yes, yeah, absolutely. What? Uh, yes. so well, that wasn't a cute. That wasn't the cutest throw. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> but yeah, um, this level has two very distinct halves. Um, but they shared the mechanic of this bar, where the, if the bar uh, empties, something happens. And here, it's a on-off switch bar. And in the second half, we're going to see it control the munchers, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, the second half of this level was definitely the hardest part for me, uh, playing this casually. But then with practice, it's like it's, it's pretty consistent. All of this tight navigating, ooh, all of this tight navigating you're seeing jumping it uses uh, a technique in uh, SMW, both sort of vanilla and in fan games, uh, called re-grabbing, yeah. uh, which honestly is way too technical and would take way too long to get into here. Suffice it to say that Court has extremely precise control over the jump arc of Toadette here, and Mori knows that, and Mori is actively putting things in places that is forcing Court to use their knowledge of jumping to very, very slightly and very clearly. Yeah, that was that Come was not on. on you. 
that wasn't you. That wasn't you. That wasn't you. You're good. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of very deliberate, intricate platforming happening here. Uh, and honestly, a lot of the really cool stuff about Kaizo Design is that it doesn't look like it. Yeah. It just looks like platforming until you try to do it. And then it's like, oh my goodness, this is very, very much harder than I thought it would be. I mean, re-grabbing isn't hard to explain. It's when you grab something and you stop grabbing it, right? And then you grab it again. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 it, right? It's not it's not an extremely complex system of how to... Oh, hey, look at that. Whoa! Whoa! Thank you, chat. We have met that Fresh Hops 2 bonus level. Thank you all. Yes. You are not going to regret it. Okay, cool. $4,000 raised for Malala Fund. Thank you again. Wow. Thank you all so much. Should wow. we tell them? Yeah. Okay. I told you there was prop comedy involved. So, uh, like like, like Ago said, it's a my favorite Gatorade flavor is a UF special called Swamp Juice, and I will reveal the recipe of Swamp Juice, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll cheers to that if uh, orange and blue tie. So please, I yes. would love to see that happen. We are asking for a tie. Why can't I get <laughs> this thing? What is it? Grr. <laughs> I The timing on this last one is so difficult. You have to really be rushing everything you're doing. It's very hard. But uh, while I'm getting there, you can read another donation. Yep, that bonus level is thanks to $100 from Bonnie and Daniel, who just say bonus. Bonus. <laughs> bonus get. Woo! We also have $5 from Greta Ice Vixen. Oh, hi, Greta. Hi, Greta. Hi, fellow games committee brain havers. I love this run. <laughs> Court, your positive influence on the world cannot be overstated. You're simply incredible, and I'm so lucky to know you. Thank you for everything. Less than three, C colon, and colon three. <laughs> C colon. Just, just the whole spread. Uh, I want to give a shout out to the... To the Thank you, Games Committee, for helping obviously put this on event, but being a really phenomenal group of people to work with. Uh, it is a very stressful experience to be a member of a games committee for an event like this. And uh, as someone who's been part of this for the first time, working with everyone, with Jen, with Court, with Akko, and with everyone that's been part of it has been an absolute like honor and privilege. And we've all put in so much work. And I just want to say thank you to the rest of the committee members for everything that you do, everything that you're going yeah. to be doing the rest of this week. And look at how, look at the number. We're, we're all working number together. Number go up, Number baby. goes $75,000. Less than seven thousand dollars to go for Pokemon Snap. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so this is a really challenging level. Oof. What you're supposed yeah. to do is not touch the munchers because they kill you. That happens a lot. But then sometimes, that happens a lot. Sometimes <laughs> the munchers don't kill you, but when they do kill you, you should avoid them. I thought you were gonna say when they do kill you, they kill you, and I would have. Oh. <laughs> Aqua strats. Oh, also the other thing is that I have to be crouching this whole time, um, which is just kind of difficult to do as you're sliding because uh, there's there's ice physics here. So I have to be crouching. I got to be making sure I'm getting through here in, in plenty of time. So like I said, this was this was the hardest level for me casually. And uh, while I've definitely improved like a ton at it uh, while practicing, it's still just like at a base level quite cha quite challenging. That jump that Court just did Horrible. is deceptively hard. Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard, y'all. Um, it looks like it says, oh, you jump and hit the switch, land back down, and keep going. But landing there is very, very yeah, tight. Yeah, it is. This song's really good. I love this song. Okay. We can do another donation here. Yep, we have $10 from Hunter 29 They say, donating to French for the Tears of the Kingdom run in honor of my trip to Quebec last month. Ooh, let's go. Allons-y et bonne chance, Frozen Flygon. Wow, <laughs> Rara, very nice. Thank you. So Italian is currently in the lead for that at $20, with French following closely nice. at 15 Y'all get to choose the language that we are going to play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom in. Or, yes, yes, okay. that, I said what I said. I would really like to have French win, because me and Aqua have been watching... Uh, yeah. Miraculous Ladybug for the And we pet. watch it in yes, French. Yes, I love and that we watch show. It in French. You, you love Ladybug? I love oh it. My so We're going to talk about this after yeah, the run. Hold on. This, this is like a major that. revelation. This is, <laughs> this is not a bit. I didn't know this. Dinner Chat plan. Noir is like my small child. Oh Dinner plans God. just changed, is what happened. I love okay. Chat Noir. I, okay, I have like so many emotions at this moment. We have three more episodes of the last season to watch, and we were planning to watch it at this event, but we run the event, so it's like that hasn't happened yet. By the way, this is the last level of the base. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is the castle. Wait. Oh, why am I at Wendy? Is it because of your save? I think it is because of my save. Um, yeah, I accidentally skipped. I didn't know there was a big checkpoint there. Okay, uh, so I'm going to need uh, a second here to change my file. 
um, just because I want I, I want to you know I want to show the you know the whole the whole castle. So give me give me a second, uh, friends. So we got twenty five dollars from Anonymous. They say swamp juice, swamp, swamp juice. juice, swamp juice. The orange Gatorade is actually in the lead right now by ten dollars. It's sitting at eighty, and blue Gatorade is at seventy. Oh, y'all we, gotta work hard. We want the secret third thing with props. Let's do it. Let's tie that up. Yep, absolutely. We also have twenty five dollars from Adora Bibble. My favorite kinds of beer, if I can find them, are coffee stouts or chocolate stouts. Ooh. Wonderful desserty beers. I don't like stouts very much, actually. What? What? I'm not a big fan. Oh, come on. Those are, but they're so good. I, I hear, I hear that they are. I'm just, mm. Alrighty, so since the uh, the game crashed earlier, I think we're just going to show off the Wendy fight uh, and skip right to the incentive. I am sorry, Maury. Everyone should go play this to play yeah, the uh, castle play because this. it's so good. This is just bait for everyone to play the Exactly, play the but yeah, uh, awesome. Wendy is my favorite Koopaling. If you didn't know why, uh, there's two reasons and they're kind of related. She wears a bow and she's a girl. The only way to tell if anyone is a girl in a video game. Uh, and so I love Wendy. This Wendy fight is incredible. Uh, I love fights that are platforming and you have the action of like being able to hit the boss fight. And so this this is a, a really interactive custom boss. This is my favorite Wendy fight of all time. Yeah, it's like, so good. By a mile. Yeah. It's really good. There's some really tough stuff in here. Uh, like throwing the key to hit her correctly is, is tough. And also, the second key throw here. Um, I, I just love this trick of like going back and forth. You you just have to optimize your movement so much because of the auto scroller in this. It's it's just all around a great conclusion. We have time for a donation in here as we finish up. Yep, we have five dollars from Sweet Peeps. I don't much care for beer, but Great Notion has great fruity IPAs that I don't hate. Okay. Yeah, okay. we take that. Smiley face. Thanks, peeps. Yeah, that key throw is very it's difficult mean. because it's you so have mean. to get the key, go out to the left, throw the key up, and then get back. And so since you, you have to obviously be holding up to throw the key in the right direction, but it's a, it's a really small window of time to be able to, you know, coordinate getting to that in the right spot. Coordinate. 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 True. Uh, oh, oh, I missed. Oh, I. Mm. No, this is fine. Nope. I can't oh. reach her. I can't reach her because of the end. Auto of the scrollers screen. are mean in that way. Is that SMW auto scrollers are are sprite based? So like, what happens is, like, because the auto scrollers the way it is, things will spawn and despawn, and sometimes you won't be able to leave a yeah. part of the screen once it passes. In this case, like, even though you could see Wendy. The auto scroller had gone too far for it to allow you to come back oh, to hit it. Oh, because part of the sprite was already off screen? Yes. I see. So it's like that because of the way that it is. <laughs> yeah. SMW Maddie Thorson says the best thing about SMW, which is that it is one of the best games ever made at at not breaking when it breaks. Oh, that's <laughs> that SMW fair. is a wonderfully nice. built game in that it can bend and accommodate all sorts of really awesome really custom stuff like stuff like this. And by the way, time is actually pretty soon. Soonish. <laughs> Soonish. This loves to bait you and that we, we You you want our poor stream tech to struggle. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? <laughs> our poor stream tech. Come on. Uh, Hi crime. Hi crime. Crime's actually subbing for me. That's supposed to be me right now, but I'm not here. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, that is Fresh Hops. Big shout outs to Maury for making that. I'm so excited to get to show off the incentive. Um, and we're going to have a great time uh, showcasing that. Um, but yeah, going to sit here and mash for a while. But uh, we're, we're, let me load, uh, load that up. So we have $50 from Viotechnics. Hey, Akko, I Googled collection Hi. words that start with O. <laughs> Let's hear these. Okay. Okay. Google AI says accumulation. <laughs> what? <laughs> Agglomeration. <laughs> assortment. <laughs> batch. Conglomeration. <laughs> cluster. <laughs> hoard. <laughs> jumble. <laughs> pile. And supply. Wow. That was incredible. Does that yeah. help? Yep. Yep. Maybe AI isn't ready to take our job. If, if, if you like orange, you should you should become one of the orange supply. <laughs> <laughs> the orange supply. Oh. Let's go. All right. So 
I, first of all, again, thank you so much to More Than Magpie for showcasing this level from Fresh Ops 2. It, Can't wait to play an it. An unreleased game. Yeah, unreleased. and so love this demo. This title screen is so cute. Thank you so much. But uh, time is going to start in three, two, one, go. Uh, real quick, I do want to say, I have Ultra another red. reason for liking Orange. Um, if So if anyone here knows, my username, Akko, comes from a chocolate orange. So if you're an Akko... If you're, uh, if you're a fan of the Akko Deep Lore. If you're an Akko associate, <laughs> donate for orange. Akko associate. No, an Akko-holic. An Akko... <laughs> an Akko-holic. Oh my gosh. Blue is currently in the lead by $60. Let's try to match that up. Y'all can, can do it. Y'all can do it. All Get right. Us to that so what piece. is the what is the special thing that is going on here? So two things about this that are really cool. One, this is a motor skills level. We'll come back to that later. Uh, but the thing I was referring to earlier, the thing I had never seen before, this throwable, hittable on-off block. Uh, this is really freaking cool. Uh, we've seen these. This is uh, But that <laughs> on-off block that you can hold, you can throw, and that interacts with things as you jump on it. That is one, this is the first time I've ever seen this, and it's a testament to things are still being innovated, things are still being built, and things that we, like, would have taken for granted, like this on-off block, which has been around since the very beginning of Lunar Magic. No one had really ever thought before this to like, what if you could just pick it up and throw it? Yeah. <laughs> and so it's, we're it's seeing so cool. that now in a motor skills level, uh, which, yeah, uh, when, when Court said that this was a step up in difficulty, they were not kidding. Mm -hmm. uh, Motor but, skills is so hard. So motor skills is a general term we use uh, because a level created by Morsel, the yes. creator, not Amethyst Rock's cat, um, <laughs> yes. uh, created a level. By the way, that was a huge H. Ooh, Big yeah, H, H, H in chat for this. Uh, created a level called motor skills that used this, this gimmick, which is changing jump type midstream. So Court can change from spin jump to normal jump uh, whenever they want, in midair. Yep. Uh, that sounds cool. It is. It's also really hard. It's really difficult. You have to have a great grasp of how the physics change when you are in a normal jump or a spin jump. So a lot of the time, especially in the first half, you're seeing me swap at a particular time because it, it changes where I'm going to be. And it's a battle between I want to pre-switch to make sure I'm doing the right thing, but I also need to make sure I have enough air time. And that is what practicing this level has been all about and getting comfortable with those swaps and when they happen. Uh, in the first half, that ending is really particular about when you swap to spin jump, because if you do it too early, you'll be low and hit the spike. And so it's it's really interesting to design levels like this. I also want to give a shout out to hand health, because uh, one thing motor skills levels are famous for are being very hard on your hands. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so Kaizo players, we take our hand health very seriously. Uh, Super Nintendo controllers are great for a lot of things, but uh, repetitive stress injuries are not one of them. Uh, so, <laughs> Well, they're great at giving you that. They're, they're, great, great. <laughs> at giving, they're great at giving you them. So uh, be careful. By the way, uh, Court. Oh, we might be yeah. we might be winning here? Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Time. Time. <laughs> Excellent. Ooh. Wow. Gosh, that, that incentive was so that. fun. Uh, you yeah, I, that. I was worrying about that all day, practicing <laughs> it all day, and it, it went super well. So, um, yeah, I guess uh, as we're closing out the Gatorade Food War, I will let my commentators go with any uh, shout outs or anything they have. So, uh, go I've ahead. got two. One shout out to SMW Central. C3, which is our twice a year show and tell, just started today. So if you want to see all of the cool stuff that's being made in the SMW community, go to SMW Central and see it for yourself. I also just want to give a shout out to the Fatals in general. Uh, conversation I have with Court at uh, SGDQ 2023 changed my life forever because it brought me into this wonderful Aww. community. Uh, so I will forever be grateful to Court for that, but also just forever grateful to the Fatals for doing such amazing work uh, and doing such beautiful things for women, femmes, non-binary people in, in gaming and speedrunning, but also $75,000 for Malala Fund, a million dollars for charity over the course of its existence. We're doing huge things, y'all, and it's because of all of us together. Yeah, it's been incredible being here this week. I want to shout out all the studio volunteers. Yes, you right there <laughs> looking at me. Uh, big shout out to Crime and May. I love you. I love working with you. Um, and all the producers, especially. Um, <laughs> Hi, May. <laughs> and Court, you could go ahead. 
Um, yeah, I love my job. I am the luckiest person in the entire world to get to say that I get to do this. And um, I'm so happy that everyone supports me and to be able to do runs and not just be running around the studio <laughs> frantically hoping that the stream is okay. Um, and every single event, it gets better and better from every facet of it. Um, so you all are amazing. I love everyone who is here. Uh, thank you for trusting me. And I hope to you know continue making everyone proud. Um, but with that, I really need to know, I, I really need a drink. I, and so what, <laughs> what, what color Gatorade will I be consuming at this moment? With $160 blue Gatorade. Let's go! Oh, empirically the best Gatorade. Yeah, well, thank you all so much and cheers. <laughs>